new first set for a suspected serial bank robber is back in jail today after she was busted again for robbing a bank just months after first being arrested for the same crime in April. Fox 59's Eric Graves tracks this accused offender from bank to bank. Police are investigating two bank robberies within hours of each other on Tuesday. The first here at this Chase Bank off Cunningham in Speedway. Then just a 25 minute drive away, another bank robbery Tuesday, this time at this region's bank off 86th Street here in Indy. The woman that's now been arrested for both of these bank robberies is also connected to four more bank robberies back in April. This was Sierra Hunt in April of 2022. She was arrested and police say she admitted to robbing four banks in one week, making off with almost $30,000. This is Sierra Hunt today, in jail once again and accused of robbing another bank. And so we're glad we got that this individual off the streets. IMPD says Hunt first tried to rob the Chase Bank off Cunningham and Speedway and then went to Regions Bank off of 86th and Indy. Police say Hunt got away with money there, but they quickly tracked her down in a getaway car and found someone else with her. Information uh, suggests that her, her daughter was involved in um, several of these incidents. 36-year-old Shamaya Hunt has also now been arrested for her suspected role in the robbery. Former FBI Special Agent Paul Keenan says serial bank robbers aren't uncommon. Especially nowadays, they don't really get that much money. There's not bang, much bang for the buck in robbing a bank. Court records show Sierra spent less than three weeks in jail before she bonded out. Court docs say with each April robbery, she walked in and gave the teller a note demanding money. Sometimes there'll be a threat involved in those notes. And when there's a threat of force or violence in the note, it raises the stakes uh, with the as far as the sentencing goes uh, when they're caught. We don't know yet how the robbery happened at the region's bank Tuesday morning. We also don't know how much money the suspects may have gotten away with, but Keenan says it probably wasn't a huge amount. It's usually what's in the drawer, and typically they're getting away with less than $10,000. IMPD says the best advice to anyone who might find them in this situation is to do what the robber says. Whenever you encounter something like this, please cooperate with the suspect because you don't know what they have. Two bank robberies on Tuesday make for a total of six bank robberies in all of October in the greater Indianapolis area. Arrests have been made in three of them. Reporting on the north side, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News.